What's that say? Well, it says Mopar on there. Electronic suspension. V8 cylinder three. Cylinder three? V8 cylinder three. And it says Mopar, Chrysler, whatever on the other side. Well, hell, man, either this thing was done at the dealership or those are original damn plug wires. That can't be original plug wire. There is no freaking way. Uh-uh. No way. This truck has almost 200,000 miles. No. He must have had this serviced at a, a Dodge dealer or something. All right, man, so what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to go ahead and, and get yourself a notebook piece of paper, okay, and something to write with, okay. And that's a cool toy right there. Oh, he lives right across the street, too. I don't want to look like I'm spying on anybody, but look at that toy. Oh, yeah. I need me a Harley like that. Get this shit out of my way. All right, so anyways, <clears throat> we're gonna do this right now. What you're gonna wanna do is you need to go ahead, let's see here, get yourself a purple marker. That looks kind of blue on the camera, but it's purple. And then uh, you go ahead and uh, draw yourself up a diagram that looks something like this, okay? So you got yourself, say you got eight cylinders, so you put one, two, three, four on one side, and one, two, three, four on the other side, and you mark them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on here, okay? Now, you might know your firing order and whatnot, but um, this is just the way I like to do it, you know? I, I, you can, uh, there's a hundred different ways you can do this. You can pull all the wires out one by one. That seems to work pretty good. Because then you can uh, keep track of where it's routed and everything. But And, and I might even do that. I uh, found that's a really good way to do it. Is do the wires one at a time, you know. But uh, even, even if, you still want to have this uh, diagram here just in case. You see what I'm saying? So go ahead and draw yourself a circle here. That's a picture of your distributor. Okay, and I like to get up in there and look and see, you know, just where they're sitting now. There's two that sit nice and even right in the back. There's two that sit right and even nice in front. And then there's two in between them on this side. And then there's two in between them on this side. Okay. And then what I like to do is I'll start in the back here. And I'll take this wire here and I'll follow it up. And I followed it around and it went down here too. Okay. So what I do is I draw a line with the marker coming off whichever way the direction of the, of the wire is, just in case you forget which way these wires all go in here. And I just draw a line going that way, and I write two on there, and that means that goes two. Okay? And you see this next one here, the wire runs clean through and wiggles through all the way to the other side and goes over down here to seven. All right? So I can tell all that stuff by a simple little diagram right here. Okay? Now you know you want to um, you want to you want to go ahead and do it uh you want to go ahead and do it to where you got to do it one at a time or whatever, then 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 that's cool too. You can do that, um, but like I said, I would still go ahead and do this diagram here, um, just because. And uh, like I said, there's probably 14 you know different ways of doing it, but. That's just the way I like to do it, and y'all got a better way, that's fine. You guys can um, do it however you want to do it. But, you know, that's just the way I go. I do it, you know. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling these plugs, and I'll uh, show you guys uh, how to go ahead and do at least one of them, and then uh, he'll pretty much be on track there and to... Uh, to go ahead and do this stuff yourself, you know what I mean? So, uh, let's, without further ado, let's go ahead and, uh, just gonna finish up something I'm doing right here. Alright, so if you guys want to go ahead and do this, like, most easiest way I can think of possible, 
Now you can see it's pretty uh, it's pretty hard to get back in there, and whatever. But um, if you want to do this one at a time, and you can see that farthest plug right there. That's the farthest one back. Okay, you see the one my finger's pointing at right there. That one there is right here, number two. Okay, so that one comes out this way and goes down here to to the second spark plug on this side here. See the spark plug is down in there. It's that second one in right there. Okay. So this guy right here. Alright, so if you want, you can start with that one. Go ahead and yank that one there. Follow it back. See what uh see what little uh, wire looms or whatever it goes click clicks into or whatnot. Follow it up there. Oh, excuse me. Just had Chinese. And go ahead and take uh take it off there back there. Okay. That's all I'm gonna do right now, and then we're gonna match it up. All right, just a few things that's going to make this a lot easier on you. Obviously, you take off your uh, air air cleaner. You know how to do that. Just loosen up that damn ring on the back, you know, and you can just pop the damn thing off. It clicks on a couple different places, but you just pick it straight up. It should come right off. And uh, once that's out of your way, you're going to want to go ahead and, uh, well, you don't have to, but I like to unplug this uh, this uh, vent here on the, uh, the uh, right there anyway. I like to unplug that there. And bring it up underneath kind of stretch it over here out the way you can just shove it up under here if you want just be careful just where it's gonna stay stay good and gone that's what I like to say so there that's kind of out of the way this breather hose here now um, you can take that off but you can see I sprayed some junk under here it's because I want to make sure that I don't get nothing on there down in a hole down in there, okay? So what I did is I sprayed some engine brad on there. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up around there first. Okay. As much as you can. Just uh, floating around. I don't want any debris, debris, whatever, getting in there. We'll go ahead and, you know, you know, just pop it on out. That's nice and easy. Well, just a little twist and a pull and she should pop right out of there. You know what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna just pull that hose off. See, that's what I'm talking about. Right there. That's not so easy to get out. But pulling this hose off is. So I'm just gonna set that up there. So I remember, I'm gonna point this, point this down. Okay. All right. And clean that off, and there we go. Whew. That was easy. Kind of down here in the way. But it was hooked. It was hooked into here. Okay. It was hooked into there. So I popped it out, and as you can see, there's a couple of wire loom hooks here for the wires to go in, and they're not in them. So it's been done before, and it wasn't done. It wasn't snapped back in all fancy like. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. All right. What's going on with this? Let's see, it's got these stupid click tops here. Or if you can slide them out this way really hard sometimes. I just grabbed that thing and yanked it one way and, and it finally, you see, it slid out this way and popped back. So, all right, so which one's the one hanging here? This one that goes right through the middle. Not that I think that makes a whole lot of difference because this has been redone before. All right, now, if we're right, should be the farthest one back here. Oh. Oh yeah, she loose. All right, all right. So now we got ourselves a a damn wire, okay? Crappy one, all used up, all floppy. It's crap out of the way, man. Now I gotta. You know, I'm gonna have to talk to him about paying me to clean up the shop. Anyways, what the hell was I doing? Oh, there's all the parts. Here we go. Some Omnis. Omni spark plugs right there. Thank you, uh, thank you, O'Reilly's. Right there, man. Them O'Reilly's guys, man, they hooked me up here. We got some uh, little cheapy Omni spark plugs. Original equipment down to the core, man. Uh, I might not go as far as to say as these are as good as original equipment, but damn close. And, uh, 
price that O'Reilly's gave them to us for, you know, we can't be beat and uh, you can't beat the service. So there's all eight plugs. So you want to get them out and sort them according to length. All right, I got them uh, organized here by length. There's two about the same length. Maybe they're within a half inch of each other. And those two, same situation. And then you got these four here. One, two, three, four. They're all the same side over there, all lined up over there, but they're all a little bit different lengths over here. All right. So what I'm going to do, and then, of course, you got your ninth wire there. That goes uh, from the distributor cap, right? Hey, that's the one that goes in the middle of the distributor cap. Okay, it should have the same ends on both ends, all right? All, right. all these should have the uh, gray ends, or straight ends on the other side, like that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wire here, I'm going to match it up on this side here, and I'm going to find whichever one over here matches at the same length here. It looks like this one, okay? So this is going to be my wire here. And I had a little protection here. They added these uh, these uh, wire protector deal uh, plastic uh, loom uh, looms or what? What the hell is he calling? I don't know my shit. I'm just doing a damn video normally. So you can go ahead and peel those off. They got a slice down the middle. See how that works right there? All right. Go ahead and hold that with the camera. You guys hold on to that and there, and you pull the wire out. Okay. Then you got that, okay? All right, so we have our wire here. We took that loom off, like I said, and we're gonna go ahead and snap that on there to the end of that, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and feed her up in there, all right? All right, then you just do the same way you got her back off. You just pinch her on there like that. I'll try this with one hand. Like, pull it way down here like this, okay? When you bend it way down like that, it likes to open up, see that? And then you can press the stuff in there really good. So, bend it down and press it in right. okay there's our new wire getting ready to go in there all right just got her flopped up in there okay now rather than drag that pretty new line you know from up there and drag through all the oil and down to here i'm going to go ahead and just kind of set it right in here where it's going to plug in it's going to plug in right down there you see that right right over there so I'm going to set it in there, and then I'm going to push this up through the back and fish it up into the back there, all right? And then, uh, then we'll go from there. Some more parts from our local O'Reilly's, man. Hooking it up. Hooking it up fat. Right here we got the Master Pro. Well, now someone wants to come out here and bug me. What's up? Nothing. What's up, niece? What what are you doing? Nothing. What's with the tone? You wanna help put on the distributor cap? No. It's fun. Ooh, cool. Look how cool it is. Isn't that cool. I think it's cool. Why? You got money for minutes? Yeah. Hey, can I go? Can I go? I, like I said, you would you need to go ask Jeremy. And he's not even here yet. He's out screwing around getting a damn car from the junkyard, so or whatever. All right, so got, he got himself a new shiver cap, right? And he went and got himself, well, I don't really like this manual focus crap. All right, and he got himself a new uh, rotor going there, okay? A couple bucks for those, might as well grab them, right? Okay, let's just say I already fit it up in there, right? All right. Here's the distributor back there. Got my wire set here now. A, you take your masking tape and wrap masking tape around here and label this as um, whatever you got here. Uh, you can label it as number two, okay? And then you'll know right where that one goes, right? 
and you can just set it off to the side. All right. The other thing you can do is just right away put your distributor cap back here. Okay, just kind of set it up and find out where it's going to go in accordance to the other one that's on there. Once you figure that out, I mean, it can only go two ways, you know, because there's screws on the side. So you got to this way or the other way. Okay, and you can judge by this damn thing right there as to where it's got to go. Alright. So you know, all you do is you line it up back in there like that. And uh, you take your damn plug. And let's go ahead and put it on there. Alright. Then set it off to the side. The only thing I don't like doing about this is, you know, you gotta kinda fondle with it and move it out the way here and there. And might get in the way a little bit, so I don't like doing that. I like just leaving that out. Alright, the other way to go about this here is um once you get it. Once you get that one wire out, kind of out the way or whatever, if you can get back in there with your screwdriver and get down in there and take the screw out of the right side, take the screw out the left side, pick the distributor cap up and off of there, okay? And you got her up, at least you got her up here, you know, and uh, a lot easier to work on when it's up here out of the way, you know, not so far down in there to dig around, okay? Then... Then what I do is, and it doesn't take me too much longer, and it's just as easy. So I run the wire up, and I actually plug the new wire on that old crappy distributor cap, okay? Now, what that does is that allow me to just leave that damn thing hanging around in there for a little bit, and I run all the wires, I get them all nice and neat, you know, like I like to run them, you know, I run them on there. They shouldn't touch anywhere, okay? And then they cross over in the back. Um, back up in there, they kind of touch and stuff, but that's what that plastic's for, okay? It protects it. All right, so now you got them all hooked up to the old distributor cap up here, you know? Once you got all them wires ran, then you bring in the new distributor cap and set it right in front of the old one, and you just transfer the wires right over to that one, all right? That's a nice, easy, clean way of doing it, too. And uh, that's the way I forgot about, you know, when I got in to start, you know, when I started getting in here to, to start wrenching, you know, those, kind of, those little things like that kind of come back to you. And that's the way I'm going to do this one because I think that's the last way I did my last one. And, and I just like the way it goes. Just uh, nice and neat. And uh, you can't screw it up. There ain't no screwing it up that way because you pull one wire off at a time. You run the wire back in. Plug it up to the old stripper cap. Plug them all back up to the stripper cap. Make sure you take that stripper cap off because it's going to help you a lot. Having that nice and floppy and nice and up and up higher, you know, so you can get the, you know, get, get them off easier and keep everything a little more organized. So, Get all these other ones um, on all eight cylinders, all ran up and plugged up to that old distributor cap. All right, man. I got all the wires ran up and I got it, had them all plugged into the top of the distributor cap. Okay. I'm just gonna, getting ahead of myself here. I figured I'd make another short video so y'all know what the hell's going on. All right. And then what I did was I brought in the new distributor cap here. Okay. And I set it and I set it back in here, and I took all the plugs off the old distributor cap and plugged them on here, all the ones from one side anyway. All right. Now I know where all the other ones go because they're still on the other distributor cap. But once you get off all on one side, you can pick this up. Actually, this is the old one. I'm sorry. You can pick it up and pull it over here out the way. Okay. Stuff that over there to the side. All right. Now. All right. I took the other one. All right, I had the other half of the uh, ones that go to the other way and stuck that up over here. That's the new one, all right? So with that one and that one out the way, now, I can't even see it, but you reach down, you imagine it was still sitting about here, and you reach straight down, and you feel the plastic deal, okay? You can feel it. It's long. It's got that metal tab on it, okay? It looks exactly like that thing here. All right, okay, and then you just grab a hold of it and you pick it up. Might have to wiggle it a little bit here and there. All right, so if you see the inside of this one here, you can see that metal tab's all busted to shit right there. All right, that's what happened when I pulled it off. I usually wore out enough to where you can just grab it and pull it, wiggle it a little bit and pick up on it and it should pop right off. All right. 
And that's what happens. Right, and these are old and wore out, you know. That tab little got some surface rust on that tab back there and up inside there's got some surface rust and corrosion on it and whatnot. So there you go. Alright, that's the old one. And you just take that new one in your hand. And then you gotta imagine, you gotta imagine the same exact face in the same way as that one was. And you can go ahead and put it on in there and just drop right down on that shaft. A nice all there is to it. Now you can see her in there. Alright. Boy, this is Boy, if y'all want to get a good view of this stuff and you don't know what's going on, you just take your dang camera, take your iPhone camera, and you shove it down in here and see what's going on. That right, ground's looking good. Everything's looking good. All right. Okay. So now that we got the old distributor cap out the way, we can drop that new distributor cap on in. All right. So we drop that down. Make sure everything's facing the right way, square, going in. See, I'm actually watching the camera, because I can see better. Oh, there we go. Alright y'all, it's going to take a couple hands here, but you can see you get that screw lined up, and you go ahead and... That's for sure. Oh yeah, this was my other little tip I forgot about here, and I dang old forgot about it myself. I dropped these spark plug boxes down in here in the engine bay with you, so you can throw your tools and whatnot in there and not have to worry about dropping them. So yeah, there it is. Alright. So you just go back in there. What I've been doing is laying across the front of this thing now. Another thing I did was I took this piece of plywood and laid it up on there, all right? And it sits on the battery, uh, right up here on the uh, core support, all right? And then the other weight kind of goes right here on these lines, but they're hard lines and they got a mountain bracket right here and the hose kind of supports a little bit too. So with all that stuff added together, I've never had any problems with it, okay? So I just laid that board right out here, and it stops about right up there by a uh, throttle body there, and it stops over here, and you can just lay right across there, but I'm just going to hurry up and get this done, because I'm ready to get this done. All right, now the only reason I'm recording this is because I'm actually using the, the damn phone to see what's going on down in there, because I can't get my head in there. So I'm watching this just like you're watching it right now. I look back in there and see it wasn't lined up. So I grabbed the distributor and put it where it needed to be. Now you need to make sure that this bolt here, this bolt, make sure it ain't sticking all the way down because mine was sticking down and it was way on this side of this little this little notch in the in the on the on the block, whatever you want to call it right there, the little notch that comes out. Now I lost the damn phone. That's just I knew that shit was gonna happen. Oh man. Better not get no damn scratches on it either. I just that skin just came off of there too. I ain't got skins on both sides, so I don't even see the damn thing now. That's just freaking great. That ain't even my damn phone. I see the light on shining. Oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Oh, we got her. Oh. I got you, man. Oh, where you at here? You still recording? It is. You all right, man? We got you. You ain't going nowhere. All right. Whew. You're going to want to uh, use a little bit cheaper camera, probably. Oh. I mean, even one of them little $100 Kodak, you know, sports cameras, whatnot, or whatever. I wouldn't use the uh, I wouldn't use an iPhone 4 uh, 
that's just me. All right, where are we at? So anyways, you can see there's a little notch down there on that cast right there. And if your bolts fall, fall down, and you try turning that distributor cap this way, it's gonna hit down there, right? Just like that. So you need to reach your fingers down, slide your fingers down here, reach underneath, and pop that nut back up. It ain't gonna pop out. But there's a little device in there, a little notch inside this plastic here that makes it not pop all the way out. So then you can twist it um, over. And now this is all after you have the screw on the other side on, is what I'm saying here. So and then you can go ahead and just tighten her down. Alright. And you just wanna go, you know, you wanna go tight, but not too tight. There. Where are we at over here? Everything good over here? Oh. Yeah, I need to get me one of them shop cameras. They got shop snake cameras for this kind of stuff. That works just slicker shit right there. There it is. All right. Okay. Now, I just need to go ahead and pop these back on there. Where they go? From the other side. All right. I've already got this pretty much where I want it. Let's see what I'm talking about here. All right, I got them two ran in there, and they run up on the. They run up on there, so they're out, they're not touching anywhere. You see? Nice, huh? Now all I gotta do is I gotta get me some clips from the O'Reillys tomorrow. These all run back into that stupid thing. All right, not really touching much right now. Actually, I don't think they're touching. These are pretty close right here, but they ain't touching. But I want to take all three of them like this. You know? You go one, two, three. Put a nice little loom on there. Those little chrome jobbers or whatever. It don't matter. Little plastic things. And click that. Maybe click that one in there too. Maybe I'll get a four-piecer. But it's always smart to buy that crap afterwards. You should waste money instead of doing that. All right, I'm gonna get that distributor cap in there. Then I'm gonna throw this that ninth wire on there that runs up through here, and then uh, go ahead and uh, I'm gonna blow the leaves out this motor for him too. Got leaves all down in there and whatnot. So yeah, man, Jeremy ain't Jeremy ain't having too good day. I guess he called up and said, and, uh, well. <laughs> He got back not too long ago or whatever, you know, he probably doing a video about it, but he's kind of in the dumps about that first deal, you know. He went up and bought himself a damn car on the internet without even seeing the damn thing first, but, I mean, they thought they were able to back out of it and whatnot, and then they found out they couldn't, whatever. And uh, kind of got screwed over, bought a lemon that said it was uh, in uh, decent condition or whatever. It only had the... Uh, you know, uh, wear and tear type of damage on it, and here damn thing had uh, bad head gaskets. You can get her about uh, halfway home here and uh, blew up on them. So, so I'm sure I'll have another video about that on here. All right, man. Well, it's been good talking to you, and uh, and uh, I'm not even done yet. So I'm gonna get this wrapped up here. All right, man, there you go. We got that line ran right here. We had to put all that black stuff back on it. All right, that runs right down into there. Sorry, turn it right back on. Okay, there's that new wire. All right, now what I like to do once I'm done, too, is hit, go ahead and hit that with some, uh, like take a take a t-shirt or a rag or something, and spray a bunch of uh, degreaser in it and then wipe those wires, make them stand out, and make them look new. But uh, I'm not gonna do that since he's going ahead and detailing this whole under, underside here. Anyway, he'll, he'll go ahead and do that when he goes and does that, whatever, so. All right, uh, another key point I forgot to mention was every time I pulled one of these off, I also yanked the plug on it and threw the new plugs in, so. Um, it's kind of like the main point of this whole job and I never even said anything about it, but. Let's show you one of the old plugs here. Okay. Alright, so not too, you know, they were, they were burning like they're supposed to. Alright, they're burnt hot, you know, white. 
They got crap all over them. The electrodes all rounded off. You know, and uh, it's not like that's the worst one either. Okay. <laughs> There's some pretty bad ones in there. This one here was the spark plug that was on cylinder eight, and it said it had a cylinder eight misfire. Remember when we uh, threw down that down you know, computer there at the O'Reilly's? So yeah, pretty nasty, man. I'm pretty nasty. So yeah, so that's those. We'll get all that cleaned up now. We use them uh, Champion Copper Plus plugs. Cost us about two bucks a piece. All right. And then uh, we use them Omnis out here. Original equipment, you know, Omni spark plug. You know, they're all pre-greased too. The boots were pre-greased on these actually. That's pretty cool. All silicone. And they got the posi lock terminals. I mean, it's all you need right there. I mean, decent, you know, works, works, works. And of course, that uh, stripper cap and rotor did all that too. And I think the bill came to about 65 bucks. Well, it came to about 70 some dollars, I think. And uh, he got some kind of discount or something for, you know, he started up an account or something up there. So I think he got like 10 bucks off. Well, yeah, man. There she is, all done, all in there. New spark plugs, plugs, wires, extruder cap, and rotor. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, I already blew all them leaves out, like I was telling you. Got down in there and got that all blown out. So that's one less thing for Jeremy to do when he goes to detail it. I'm pretty bored anyway. Look at that, man. Them old found something. You believe that? Something about a truck. In a farmer's field, man. Would you let go of my damn cord? Oh yeah, that's what you need, man. What I like to do is go ahead and shoot this out, just in case, you know. Don't want anything getting in there. Right, choke's closed anyway, so ain't nothing getting down in there. So you might as well blow it off just in case you got something on there. Okay, that's kind of important, man. You might as well go ahead and do that. You ain't got no compressed air, you can at least get in there and huff and puff and until you faint anyway. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that retarded looking air cleaner back on here. Oh yeah, that's another good thing. When you go to take these, that's the other that's the other thing, man. They, they freaking just spaghetti throw these sons of you know, I don't like this. Look at this crap. I mean, that's like the worst looking thing under this whole hood. The most confusing ass looking thing is all these damn vacuum lines they throw in it like at the last minute and shit. Just all in the way and everything. So I had to unplug that because they got it damn running right over top of all the spark plugs on top of the distributor. So when you unplug shit, make sure you stick it out where you're going to be able to see it and be like, oh yeah, man, got to hook that back up. So I got to spring that back in here, back under all this stuff. Plug it back up. There. What's the last thing right there? There we go. Is this thing got to be in there? Yeah. So I want to run that underneath that probably. It'll look better anyway. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Man, she don't want to go back in there, does she? Why well, should go ahead and see foam this damn thing right now? It's like... I believe, yeah. <coughs> the hell's this for? Mm hmm. That goes in there and that hooks onto that. And that's gonna come up here, like so, and hook into our damn box. So, all right, it's air cleaner time and test drive. Open pray, man. Open pray. Ah, there she is, man. 
Got that big gaudy ass air intake put on back there. Man, that'd be the first thing I got rid of. First thing I get rid of actually is that hundred pound damn old muffler they got stock ass muffler up under there making this sound like a minivan. And then I'd go ahead and get rid of that damn thing. Moment of truth here, boys. Moment of truth. We got here. Uh, well, hell, that doesn't say anything on it. Well, how the hell are you supposed to know it? No, it's probably a. Probably hit both of them. No. Oh yeah, there we go. There it is. So far, so good. She ain't skipping a beat, which means we got all the plug wires on the right spot. That's good. That, man she's cheating man well yeah man she's been running i mean she'll run good for like the first five minutes but then she'll start that chugging and shit so we'll just have to let her idle here actually i'm gonna go for a drive see what kind of power this thing really has because she's been really running like a little bitch lately i think in my opinion man i think that old uh, you all ain't seen my my trucks man i'm gonna have to make me a video channel to show you Chevy horsepower, man. Alright, I'm gonna take her for a drive here. See how she's going. That got that door on there, man. She looks pretty good without even painting it, huh? So, yeah. You just gotta. There we go. Alright. So far, so damn. I could have shut them stupid things off. Okay, and there is a car right on my ass, and I can't see nothing out this side because I ain't got a damn mirror clear to go. But check engine lights on, son of a, what the, how could I still have a misfire? That ain't right, something wrong under there, something unhooked still. That shouldn't be coming on at all, that wasn't coming on before. <laughs> 